Hello and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the wrap feature in Onshape and we're looking today at the activity or the challenge in the bottom left hand corner. So we're going to look at can we wrap a feature around a sphere or spherical shape as you can see on the screen. Now on the bottom we have a number of different tabs. So the tab I've got active at the moment is this one here. This gives us a quick overview of the different activities we can work through. And if you click on the YouTube icons, you can access the YouTube tutorials. If you look a further along, within this tutorial, we've got a tutorial, okay, part studio, which we're going to use to practice this technique. We've also got at the, the end here, a completed model of the final outcome. So on screen, we've got this design here. And this is a spherical shape and we've wrapped around it the word sphere. And as you can see, we've got a nice even okay, design. And what we mean by that is this font or this text wraps around the shape okay, in both sort of curved directions. And we've created, as you can see, an emboss. And if you look at the next tutorial, we'll look at how we can use a similar technique to create a deboss where we remove the material. So if we come over to the tutorial tab and we're going to have a go at this, you'll see there's a flat sketch and all I've done here is created a circle and put a line down the centre. I've revolved it to make a ball shape like so. I then created an offset, okay, work plane. As long as that work plane, okay, doesn't touch that sphere, then this technique will work. Then we've created the text. And I've also created something called circ, so circular, okay, or circle on that bottom or top work plane, as you can see there. Okay, so what we're going to do, if we go up to a wrap and click wrap, and what we've got here is saying, right, what do we want to create? We're going to create a solid, a surface, or a split. So say I want to create a solid, I'm going to go, I want to add, add to it. So I want to add to this design so it creates one part, okay, down here, so it creates one part. The tools is going to be the sketch here. And then the target, if you hover over that, you will see it says cylindrical face. So I thought, can I not just click on this here, okay, like that, and wrap it around? And the answer is no, it will not work, okay? It can't wrap around that spherical shape. So then I thought, right, how am I going to do this? So if I click on the X and we'll have a look back at this sort of master model here, then we can look and go back how we actually achieve this. So what I've got here is the same thing that you have in the uh, tutorial. I've got this sketch, got this sphere, and I've got a sketch, okay, there. So the first thing I did is I extruded, okay, that circular shape, and I created a new okay part so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to come into here we're going to go extrude and we're going to select the sketch and the easiest way to select sketch is to select it there i want to click new okay i don't want to add this to that spherical shape already and if we look at this front view i'm going to use the symmetric and i'm going to drag this up and technically as long as this is um higher than the height of the text that will work but i'm just going to drag it so it's actually slightly bigger than in the entire sphere okay it will still okay produce the same end result so it's important to click on new and save that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename that okay and i'll name that tool so i'm going to use that as a tool so as you can see we've got the tool there if i had that you've got the sphere underneath. Okay, we're gonna turn both of those on. Uh, actually, I'm probably gonna turn the uh, sphere off actually, like so. So what we can do now, like we've practiced in the other tutorials, we can wrap this, okay, around that design. And what I did here is I used the wrap feature and I wrapped it around, as you can see, around that uh, cylinder shape so not the sphere because it won't work and if we go in there we can have a look 
and I made sure that was sort of an emboss of a two and a half millimeters, two and a half millimeters. So how do we do that? So we go to wrap. We say we want to create a solid and we want to add. The tool is the text, so click on that. The target is this face of the cylinder, like so. And as you can see, it projects that and wraps it okay, around there. We could decide on if we okay, want to start to remove the materials, but we'd have to add on and click on remove like that. And we could also you know, add surfaces and split and so on. But in this case, we're going to add, I'm going to flip that direction, I'm going to add it to the tool, which is the cylinder. There you go, I've got that selected. It's important you don't have merge all selected because we don't want it to merge these two parts together. And as you can see, we've got that sticking out, which is good. So I'm now going to save that. And what I've got on the screen is some text going around the cylinder. So then how do we get this to go around the sphere? So what we're going to do next is, if we look in here, is probably remove the cylinder. So if we drag that down, I've then removed the cylinder. And the easiest way to do that is just to click on the top or the bottom click on extrude, I'm going to click remove and I'm going to drag that down. Again it's important that it's only merging okay, with the tool, it's not removing the sphere as well. So we haven't got merge all and we've only got tool listed in here. And it doesn't matter okay, that if I drag this past, all right, I could click on through all for example and confirm that. So what we've got now, it says we've got lots of tools because we've got, okay, lots of, okay, these here. Lots of uh, these letters is the word I'm looking for. Letters floating around at the moment in a curved, okay, shape. So now we can turn this one back on, like so. But you'll see here, they're not quite touching and they're only curved in one okay axis because they're only curved around okay that way because we use the okay cylinder we haven't got it curving okay up in this direction so we're going to do that now let's have a look back at this one so i've created that same again and what we've used is something called replace face and if we zoom in and I drag that back. You see what I've done, I've selected the faces at the back of the letters and I've replaced the face by merging it up to the spherical shape. So if we come up to here, we've got a few different options. So we've got replace face and we've got other options like move face and so on. So we're gonna use replace face. I'm gonna zoom in and use my mouse to select the back, okay, of these letters. And this could be the back of, say, numbers, or it could be the back of a shape or pattern. It's the same process. And I'm moving this around, and I'm making sure I've got each one of those. So I'm just going to rotate that and say, yeah, I've got all those. The surface to replace it with will be this surface here. And once I've clicked that, okay, you will see it's giving me sort of a transparent view of that will merge. Okay, or stick to that surface there. We don't need to flip it and we don't need an offset. We actually want that to go up to that surface and we're gonna click the tick. All right, so what we've got now is we've got this to wrap or stick to that surface. But if we have a look at say this angle here and just move it slightly you see we haven't got that natural curve all right of the sphere so we want a slight offset okay but a curve that way so we're curving both directions so how are we going to do that if we come down to here so what i've done first is i've merged all these together using the boolean i will show you how to do that and then I've created a sketch, an offset, okay, of that. So let's do that first bit. We go to tutorial, we go up to Abilene, we go union, and I want to 
Okay, go down there, press Shift to select all of them and click the tick. So that now is one part. So all the letters are all merged together as well as the sphere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to the isometric and I'm going to choose a, let's have a look, say front work plane and click sketch. Press N for normalize. And then let's have a look what we've got. If I turn on my original sketch one, that's the one I used to create the original sphere or spherical shape. And what I'm going to do is just going to check some sizes in here. If we have a look down there. I'm going to click on edit and click on front and what we've got is a one and a half millimeter offset so if we come down here I've still got this sketch activated I'm going to select the outside of the sketch and I'm going to go to offset and I'm going to click and then I'm going to type in one and a half millimeters like so now it's important okay that depending on what offset you want to create here is that line does not go past okay the outside of your letters or your pattern because then it won't trim it to the curvature of the sphere so we don't want that to be on this side for example all right so one and a half millimeters is fine and what we're going to do is we're going to click a and use a revolve but in the roll options we're going to use the option intersect so let's have a look so I'm just going to add a center line so use the L for line or center line join the center line there and I can give this a name if I want to so I'm just going to call this trim and I'm going to go to revolve so it's already selected all that. I just need to make sure I click on the X actually. I want to select half of it. The axis is going to be that vertical line. And I want to go intersect. Like so. Now the intersecting will remove okay, the outside of that. And if we update that. And we just hide. Let's have a look. What sketch is it on the original one? We have now trimmed that. So if I zoom in and just drag that back in time, you see we're going for that blocky shape, which is not trimmed and it's not following the curvature of the sphere. I use that revolve intersect cut or remove, and now it's removed that. So we've now created, right, with a few stages, an emboss around a spherical shape. So that curves in that axis and if we look at the top okay we have okay a curvature and that axis as well thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description i'll see you on the next one